What's up YouTube, it's your boy Stancy and welcome back to a brand new Pixelmon video here on the channel and we are on Anubis MC, specifically the Swords server, so you guys are more than welcome to join up. IP should be popping up on the screen any second now or of course you can click the description down below and join via the IP there. And while you guys are down there, make sure to check out my social media, no leaks, Louie, anywhere that you can think of, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, uh, Twitch, Everywhere you can think of, my name is No Leaks Louie. Make sure to follow me, show me some love on all social media platforms. Guys, today I got a very, very special video. Last episode, we spent a good time in the Ultra Space. Uh, and one of the big things that I took away from that is that's a really good place to get all the plates to catch Arceus. So that's what I ended up doing last episode. Today, we're going to catch an Arceus. Now, you guys may be wondering, but you already have an Arceus? Yeah, but I, wa I want to catch it myself. It, 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 it's, it's content. It's content for sure. But before we get started with that, uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Izzy Jude, who's actually, if I'm not mistaken, on the server at the moment. Uh, yeah, Izzy Jude. Uh, the reason why is because he hit me up yesterday for, or whenever this video goes live, he hit me up um, to take a screenshot. And I was like, okay, I didn't think too much of it. Just a screenshot. Then I actually... Okay, real quick. Somebody followed me on uh, Twitch. Threw me off. Um, but yeah, he took a screenshot of in-game. He just wanted to take a, a screenshot, which was pretty cool. And I actually got a DM from his mother on Instagram showing how happy he was. And uh, it, it was very heartwarming, to be honest. This is the first time something like that's ever happened to me before. And uh, to be honest, Izzy, shout out to you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for you know supporting the channel. Um, I'm glad that I can make you smile a little bit. You know, you got a screenshot, which is pretty cool, honestly. I saw the video. I saw how excited you were. And I, honestly, it's honestly the coolest thing that I've ever experienced, to be honest. So thank you and, and everybody that watches the channel, watches the videos and stuff like that for supporting the channel. Uh, Izzy, I don't know if that's your name. I know that's your in-game name. But uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Make sure you stay in school. Uh, listen to your mom. But yeah. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Uh, but yeah, let's get started with today's episode. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload or a live stream that may be happening sooner than later too. So yeah, this is going to be the first item that we need to help us spawn in Arceus. Uh, and I like the idea of this because it gives more meaning. It gives you something to work towards when you're trying to spawn in these legendary Pokemon. So, like, on Reforged, you have, like, the Clear Bell and the Tidal Bell and stuff like that to help you spawn in Legendary Pokemon. Uh, and then on Generations, you have, like, the Reggie Rock and the Reggie Steel, Reggie Ice Shrines. Like, things like that. I like things like that. Um, it's more interactive. It's something that you have to work towards as opposed to just a Pokemon just spawning in the Forest Hills biome. Um, so, yeah. That, that Like, that's my big takeaway. Um, but, yeah. This is the first item that we need. Uh, of course... Available at the warp spawn or warp shrine area, and it's also warp, uh, located at spawn. So if you just walk around spawn long enough, I'm sure you guys will find it. Uh, the items that we're gonna need in this particular case is going to be all the plate items. Like I mentioned earlier, I spent a good time, uh, pretty much going through the beast, uh, the ultra space to find all the uh, plates. And one of the hardest ones to find was the splash plate, and luckily enough, I found it just. Like if somebody discarded it, somebody didn't have inventory to carry it and they just left it there. I picked it up. I'm going to use it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to put some good use, use for it, of course. And it's cool because I got quite a few for other ones so I can potentially catch another Arceus in the future. Probably get better IVs, but it doesn't really matter for me. Uh, the one that I'm going to catch today is going to be my competitive one. Uh, and the one that I had previously is going to be my living decks one, if that makes any sense. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, it's weird. I got to make some inventory space because I got to add all the plates to my inventory. And go from there. Uh, it's really annoying. Okay, so I have all the plates in my inventory. At least I think I do. And all I really need to do at this point is just right-click the, the the plates onto the chalice. Hopefully nobody else can take this, to be honest. But I'm here alone. Like, nobody's around. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing this. So uh, it has, like, a little animation thing. I'll watch the first one with you guys. Um, pretty much after that, though, I'll just, like, start skipping through. So it'll have the color. And then it'll start, like, having these orbs. And then you can do all of them at the same time. It just, like... Puts in the, like, just do it quickly. That's my best way of saying it, to be honest. Uh, once we have all the crate, and it's cool because the chat also tells you, like, how many more you need uh, to complete the uh, whole, I guess, method of getting this. So, boop, boop, boop. And then we have the final four. One, two, three, and four. And then they'll do, like, a whole little, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's, it's, like, a little cool, All I think all of them are there. 
Then they're, they're going to start like twirling and combining, which is pretty cool in my opinion. It looks really cool. Uh, I like this. I'm telling you guys. Like, if Pixelmon implements this uh, in general, the fan base, the player base is going to be so much happy, uh, happier doing this than just waiting in a biome for something to spawn. And there's the Azure Flute. And it went straight into my inventory. So I have the Azure Flute. And this is item number two that we need uh, to spawn in. Well, I guess it's like item like 18, right? <laughs> because we got to use the plates. Uh, but we have to find one of these uh, uh, shrines. Of course, spawn makes it easier for us. It's already sp it's already there. All we have to do is right-click the Azure Flute. And we should automatically go into a battle uh, with Arceus. Today, though, I ended up bringing a Master Ball. It should be very, very easy for me to do this. Um... Master Ball it. Easy catch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, there it is. I, or there it is. I, I did it. I did it. And there's Arceus coming up out of the ground, which looks incra uh, like crazy, to be honest. And we should automatically get put into a battle with Arceus. Level 80. Like I said, make it easy. I'm just going to throw a Master Ball. I don't know the IVs on this thing. Um, I want to say Xavier got one with really, really good IVs. It was like 91%. I got one with 76%. I, I will take it. I will take it. It's not anything like crazy good, um, but I will definitely take it. What were the IVs at on it? Uh, 31 in speed, 31 in HP. I, in my opinion, those are two good ones. And then 31 in special defense. And the rest of them are semi-decent. They're not the worst, uh, but there's not very many things down. And then, of course, you can fly the RCS. And, of course, it's also another Pokemon that you can open the wormholes with. You know, you guys saw me do this uh, last time, uh, which is pretty cool. What I want to do, though, I'll send you, or I'll show you guys in just a second, but there's something I want to do with this Arceus. I did mention it was going to be my competitive one, so. Literally, everybody's favorite building is, of course, the EV training building. I figured I might as well. I actually got an extra orb that I want to fill up because I want to have myself a competitive Zapdos in the future. So I'm going to start working towards that as well. And what good time as any to EV train to also fill up an orb, if that makes any sense. So I get, I get to actually start working with new Pokemon now, which I'm actually excited with. Uh, so, I, of course, I'm not going to bore you guys with this. This stuff is very, very tedious. I'm probably going to be here for the next two hours or so. But uh, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to start working towards it, and I'll be right back. EV training is complete. And so we have our Arceus right behind us, and it is set up basically a normal type Arceus. There's nothing really too special with it. Has access to Swords Dance, Extreme Speed, which is basically not only a priority move, but it's also one of the highest uh, attacking moves that it has. Um, it's also kind of like a split set because it also runs Ice Beam, which is a special set, uh, special move, and then runs Earthquake, which is a physical move. So uh, it's kind of split in both ways, but Arceus is ready. Let's take a look at it real quick. So multi-type. That's the only sad part is we don't really have an ability to take advantage of. But other than that, it is looking pretty fire. Extreme Speed, Earthquake, Swords Dance, and Ice Beam. Uh, the nature is a modest nature, which, to be honest, um, we probably want to change that in the future. Because it is more of a physical type attacker. Uh, but other than that, I'm actually pretty excited. Like, it looks, it's really, you know, beefy with that HP. And it's really, really quick. Uh, so it's going to be something that I may want to switch in the future to make sure it's more of a, a physical attacker. Uh, and of course you could write it. You guys know you could write it. So this is a very, very successful uh, thing with Arceus. Another thing that we want to do though is because we EV train so much, uh, because Arceus wasn't the only one that I EV trained, I have a Orb of Static Souls. I am ready to capture my second Zapdos of the series. Of course, our first one was more for uh, our living decks. The second one is going to be for our competitive use. So I'm actually excited. We're going to head over to the shrines. We're going to spawn it in and we're going to catch ourselves a Zapdos today. One thing that I'm really hoping in this instance is for a Zapdos with at least 80 IVs. Uh, and the reason why is because if it's 70, I think it's doable. But if it's anything below 70, it's kind of lackluster. And it's going to be something that I would have to decide between the one that I have in my living decks or this one. Uh, so, But I'm actually hoping for something that has pretty decent IVs. Very similar to the Terrakion that I showed you a couple episodes ago. Where it was like 91% because it had the three perfect IVs. And the rest of the IVs were kind of boosted quite a bit. So uh, that's my big thing here. So I'm ready to spawn in a Zapdos. Automatically get the, gets us into the battle. We have the Master Ball. Easy transaction. You guys know how this works out. There's a Zapdos. Not shiny, however. Uh, I don't even know if that works, to be honest. I don't know if you can just, like, keep going until you get a shiny. So that's going to be something that I would probably consider thinking about doing in the future. But, of course, we have tokens to think, change things like that. What is that? 63 IVs? That's a big F. That is a big F. That is rough. 
that is rough. I'm glad there's, there's not very many people on the server right now to pretty much hit me with that F. Uh, EVs too. Uh, not EVs. IVs too. Uh, so 31 in HP. Uh, 31 in special defense. And 31 in speed. So the speed is really good. But if you guys see, there's a 0 on attack. And there's a 1 in uh, defense. And I don't know. I think you could run a, a split set with Zapdos. So it's going to be something that I might have to. Actually, I want to see the one that I have in my box. Are you better or are you worse? So Zapdos here. Let's check IVs. 6. 61%. <laughs> Honestly, it's technically worse. Um, that's <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of like in a... I'm starstruck. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna keep keep the newer one. It's just it's it's not something that I like, guys. It's definitely not something that I like. But of course, we're gonna EV trade it in the future, get that ready and set uh, for future battles, and then I can actually show you guys stuff that I've been working on for sure. Um, I you know as you guys can see, my living decks is coming on along really well actually. So here I have about the first two rows, including the RCS uh, battle ready with the moves that I want. And, of course, the uh, natures and all that good stuff. Well, there might be a few Pokemon where I might want to switch the natures. In the case of maybe Roserade, I might want to add specific moves. But switching moves with um, Poke Builder is expensive. I believe it's 375 tokens to change a move. Uh, and that's kind of expensive because I'm looking at some hidden powers for, like, Roserade, uh, Superior, maybe even, like, something else. I don't, I don't really know, what, but I want to add a uh, hidden power, for example. Uh, but, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. The rest of these Pokemon... They're all EV trained, they just need to get better moves uh, and better uh, held items and things of that nature. And then we have the ones that we could potentially work on in the future, as you guys can see. Sinistee, because we have access to Pulte Geist that has like Shell Smash. Uh, we have a, basically a perfect Gengar that somebody gave me. Uh, uh, Scyther that we could potentially use into a Scizor. Uh, it's just that like we have so much stuff that we can work with. Uh, I also caught an extra Xerneas for that matter. So I, I, I think we're, I think we'll be set. I think all I gotta do is just sit down and start, start EV training for sure. Uh, but guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it, consider smashing that like button, subscribing if you are new, turning on those notifications so you never miss an upload or a live stream. I say this all the time, and I'm telling you, it's going to happen sooner rather than later. So you want to be prepared for when I go live on here on YouTube. Uh, of course, comment down in the section below what you guys thought about my Zapdos and my RCS for that matter. Uh, and then uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.